Hello and welcome to Draper at Home, a podcast brought to you by Draper. I'm your host, Michelle Dawn Mooney, and we're going to be talking about home intelligence and automated shading solutions. Of course, you can always visit draperathome.com for more information on today's conversation and much more. But I can't wait to get into this conversation today. To do that, I am pleased to bring on three fabulous guests. Scotty Allen is the Chief Operating Officer for Josh.ai. Mary Ellen Oswald is Custom Integration and Partnerships Channel Manager for Somfy USA. And Tyson McDonald is Director of Business Development, Motorized Solutions for Draper. Thank you all for being with me today. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Michelle. It's great to have you here. And before we get into this conversation, which I said we have a lot of exciting things to talk about, let's get a little background, if we can, from all of you. Can you give us a little bit of a bio, if you can? I'll jump in there. Um, so uh, first of all, thanks, Michelle, for having us. Um, my name is Scotty Allen, and uh, I come to this industry from big tech. So I spent 10 years on uh, cloud systems and uh, s software as a service solutions. But the last six years I've spent in this custom integration channel here at Josh AI, um, more on the product side, but really excited by, by where and what the home space is currently doing. Um, and excited today to share what we've done with Draper. I'm gonna jump in. I'm uh, Mary Ellen and I work with Sompi Systems. I am, this is my sixth month with Sompi, so fairly new, but not new to the industry or uh, smart home. Uh, in my previous years, I've, I spent a lot of my time on the media side. So typically I was the one hosting the podcast and asking all the questions. So it's a, it's a treat to be a guest. So kind of flip it around. But uh, many people know me from uh, Connected Design, uh, the founder of Connected Design Magazine, talking about smart home um, integrations. And happy to be here. Um, I'll take over from here, but uh, Tyson McDonald's, um, I've been in, on the control side of the window shading industry for probably longer than I want to admit, uh, but I'm pushing into the 20 year area in this specific industry. So, uh, most of that time though has been focused on commercial and over the last uh, couple of years, I think Draper has started to change our focus a bit more to the residential side and that's brought in more of the home automation side of it for us. Um, so although most of my history has been on the, on the commercial space, um, some of that does translate over. There's also a lot of new stuff for us to learn and pick up as we go here. Perfect. So let's dive right in. Let's start off with a little background, if we can, about Josh AI. What is Josh? How does it work? Yeah. Um, so Josh AI is all about making technology simple to you. So um, our two founders, Alex and Tim, um, are entrepreneurs who have built large homes and gone through the challenge of adding technology to those spaces. Um, so automated sh shading solutions like what Draper offers, as well as audio and video in every space, automated door locks, all the technology you're going to see in smart homes. And while they were doing that, um, they really were frustrated with what was in the industry. And both of them coming from the tech world thought they could do better. So um, entered in Josh AI. Um, and again, it's all about making technology easier and easier to use. So Typically in smart homes, we're gonna see keypads, apps, and things like that. But you also see the newcomers on the block that add voice control and different ways to, to work in the home. And Josh really combines all of that together. So whether your hands are full and you wanna change the music or the channel, or someone's sleeping next to you and you wanna quietly turn off the TV, there's lots of different interfaces that clients can use to complete all of those tasks. And Josh offers all of those to its clients. So it's really fun to be able to give a voice command and then switch over to an app or a remote um, and seamlessly control your space. So that's a little bit of what Josh is. Um, the how it works, it sits on the network just like any of, other, any of your other devices that are smart in the home. And it just does a handshake with those in the background. So I think a little bit more later into it today, we'll get into how um, you know, Josh works with Draper in our office and our space that, that we work out of here. Um, but yeah, it's a little bit of, of what Josh offers to the home space. So let's talk about obviously some fun stuff there, but the benefits of home intelligence and then maybe some other automated automated shading solutions. What options are really available right now? Cool. I'll touch on the uh, home intelligence side and then I'll, I'll pass it off to the, the Draper or Somfy team to talk about the shades. 
So on the home intelligence side, it's really cool what we're doing with different technologies in the home. And I'll, I'll use shading as an example here um, because of the partnership that we have. But, um, you know, even just a couple of years back, the way shading works is, you know, you might give a voice command to raise or lower the shades. You might hit a button on the wall to raise or lower them or open an app. Um, but with home intelligence, uh, and this is something that Josh really focus on, focuses on specifically as a company, it allows you to control these spaces dynamically by, by what's happening in that environment. So say it's early, um, maybe you're up before sunrise or it's winter, so sunrise is happening later in the year. And when you wake up and you, you turn your master bedroom on, whether it's a voice command or hitting a button in the wall, um, opening the shades can be a privacy concern, right? All of a sudden your home is brightly lit, it's very dark outside, so based on different times of year, when the sun comes up, you actually want that button on the wall to do something different. So if I wake up, it's dark outside and I hit room on, but it happens to be before sunrise, those shades won't open. That's home intelligence, realizing what the environment is around the home. So that button's going to do something different. And then say, you know, it's the weekend or it's summer, it might be the same time of year, but the, the position of the sun is different, right? So the home understanding that, so that when I hit that same button, oh, it's a beautiful sunrise. I want to see that, right? I want it to come in the room and welcome the day for me. So that's a good example of kind of what home intelligence is and specifically how it's applied with shading. I will go ahead and add to that. Um, you know, with with Sompi, um specifically and our partnership with uh, Draper, um, we offer a lot of, exterior applications as well as the interior applications. So yes, you have your home, um, you have your motorized shades, you have motorized blinds. There's there's several things that you can automate within the home. But uh, from an exterior standpoint, which makes, you know, Draper such a great partner is, um, you know, we can do things like, you know, um, automated like exterior screening, bug shades, uh, pergolas, uh, et cetera. So the, the home isn't always just the inside of the home, but it's also the outside of the home. And uh, to be able to control that in, in any form, whether it be a control pad, an app, you know, a voice, you know, voice control, I think seems to be the more simple and easier uh, commands for, for the homeowner. Um, being able to have all of these different solutions to be able to open, close your shades or um, have those privacy, you know, have that privacy application there. Um, even like energy, energy saving um, solutions. It's there's many things that we can do together. So you know, when we talk about you know home intelligence, it's 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 only increasing, and you know the trends that are coming you know forward. And I know we'll talk about that at, you know towards the end of our podcast. It's just it's really exciting right now to be you know, part of this industry and part of the smart home. I think for just to, again, add to, to what Mary Ellen is saying, like we have, we've seen a, a huge push in terms of outdoor living, especially I think the, the pandemic is part of, it, part of what drills that where people were spending more time at home and realizing that um, we can extend the use of our outdoor space by making it more comfortable. And in the past, shades were strictly looked at uh, as let's provide some a shade or glare protection, um, but it, it's become much more than that. So now we we have the ability to integrate with lighting systems. We have the ability to integrate with security systems. So it brings a safety element to to your home as well. So when you are away, um, you, that your house doesn't look have to look like it's abandoned or empty. So adding these automated sequences and these schedules can make it look like the house is still being lived in, and then you're still tying in the artificial lighting with the natural lighting. So trying to get as much natural light into the space as possible, but blocking out that that glare or the unwanted light that you have. And then as we move to the exterior, being able to say at specific times of day, let's lower the shades to make it more comfortable. Uh, there might be areas where exactly like Scotty brought up, you might have a, an absolutely beautiful view. And at that point in time, you would like to be able to make sure that the shades raise up to get that view in, whether that's interior or exterior. So both of those work. And I think what we're seeing that the exciting thing for us is that, uh, you know, in the past sheets were, were very, uh, it was a very manual process. It was either you walk up and you hit a button on the wall to have those shades go up or down. 
And the partnership that we have with both Josh AI and Sanofi has allowed us to extend that out and become more of the home system or the ecosystem that is within the home. So now it's not an element of it being automated. It's an element of you living in a space that's continually comfortable and set to what you want. And it's not an al- a, a situation where you have to open an app for your shades and an app for your lighting and an app for your music with the combination of, of the partnership that we have. It's one system that allows us to operate all of it. And the, the great thing about it is that you're not searching for remotes or buttons, or if you walk into a space, you can just simply say, raise the shades, turn on the lights, or have a scene setting where it's just, hey, it's sunrise. And so all the shades come up, let the light in, turns on your lighting, unlocks your doors, turns on the coffee machine. So let's talk about Josh AI's own headquarters. Perfect example of the benefits that we just kind of discussed just briefly. But let's talk about the needs of the new Josh AI headquarters. Very exciting. So what was the thought process there for Ultimate Shading Solutions? Yeah, um, so that's where I'm sitting now. Our new headquarters is here in Denver. um, And both Mary Allen and Tyson have been great to work with on this. Um, Basically, 21st floor, uh, 360 degree views. There's 30 windows that a team member would have to go over and manually open if we left the shading solutions that came with the office in it. So um, it's great to walk in this space and just be able to give a voice command or hit a button on the wall and see all the lines come up together. Um, it's really beautiful. I think it, it definitely highlights kind of the flexibility of the Draper product and the different spaces it can go in. Obviously, we partner with them in a lot of residential projects where we focus, but this being commercial space, it, it really shows well here as well. Um, so yeah, I'm happy to talk a little bit about that technology, but um, both uh, Mary Ellen or Tyson, um, you know, some of the stuff that, that we did in this office was really key to what both Somfy and Draper are, are producing. So if you guys want to add anything there. Uh, um, you know, I think for us in terms of a shading um, application, uh, being able to, you know, Somfy's very strong in the commercial, you know, in the commercial uh, application world. So being able to have these, um, the solution in the, in the Josh office is a perfect way. It's a perfect setting for, for not just us, but have this experience center that where we can showcase to other people. We can invite, you know, integrators into the, you know, into the office and then just kind of demonstrate how this works, how seamless it is, you know, have them use their voice to go ahead and open and close the shading, um, you know, maybe host trainings and, and talk about the importance of automation and energy savings, things like that. So for us, it was just, it was, it was a unique opportunity to take advantage of. And I've not yet been to the offices. Um, it, I, I will be attending soon. So I, I can't wait to see it and experience it myself. I think for us as well, it became a, a showcase. Um, so one of the things that's very frustrating for integrators as they're putting these systems into into homes is the the idea that it's a new concept, it's never been used before, or or what am I getting myself into? And so for us to have again this showcase or um, an actual environment where we validated all of the systems working together, and we can bring somebody there and show them, look, it performs here. These people sit here for you know, eight, 10, 12 hours a day. They have no issues with the way it works. It seems to work seamlessly for them and they've, they've adapted to it. And it's, it's an environment where you can trust. So it gives them the validation that this is, they're not, they're not the guinea pigs of how this is going to work and they don't have to sit and figure stuff out on site. We've already done all that background work for them. It also gives people a little bit of, uh, go ahead, Scotty, sorry. Yeah, no, sorry. Uh, you just paused there. I was just piggyback on what you just said a little bit around just the reliability side of it. Uh, one of the ways Josh works with partners like Somfy and Traper is the Josh team builds out drivers specifically certified um, by our team. So other control products in the space, you may see drivers that um, are built by third parties and things like that need validation. One of the great things about this integration, it's we all stand behind it. It's built and supported here, and it's right in the room that all of our engineers use. So um, it's a great example of kind of how this partnership has played out, but also seen in action. And then... The other thing that that adds to is the engineers that are actually developing those drivers and the engineers that are that are working to make the system better are using it on a daily basis. So they know, they understand where the pinch points are, where where it, you know, 
things might need to be improved on, and then they can jump on that aspect and start working through it and get it to where it needs to be. From my point of view, it's kind of a, a cross section in in my career a little bit as well because we're taking a commercial space with this application that we also want to push into a to a residential application. But with more people working from home, it gives them that same idea of how much more efficient a day can be. And I know this sounds ridiculous, but when you're in the middle of writing, you know, a, a heated email exchange with somebody, or you're you, you have a, a deadline that you need to meet, and then all of a sudden, sun hits your computer and you can't see anything and then you have to get up from your space and adjust the shades and then come back and it just tends to be a, a pain and so from the point that we're at with with the integration you can either have that scheduled automation to say you know when the sun is in a specific spot we want the shades to be down but also you know just being able to say lower the shades and have the shades come down helps out with that whole aspect of your day and being more efficient at what you're doing and not getting those distractions that unwanted distractions of glare on your screen type thing. Scotty, since you have the privilege of being in the new headquarters, you might be the best person to at least start this question off. Tell us about some other products, if you can, being used at the headquarters. Yeah. Um, so shading is obviously a big part of a, a glass walled space. Um, it's very important. But um, partnerships with lighting providers, we have a great Ketra demo set up in here. Um, audio and video partners, we're closely with Sonance. You're going to see that throughout our, our area. Samsung frame and their newest TVs and uh, projectors as well. So lots of different partners. The last one I want to mention is a company called Ava. Um, they're a handheld remote partner. Um, so that's kind of helping carry out the space. But all these partners are kind of um, best of breed in each of their categories. And um, what's sort of unique about how the Josh headquarters brings it together is that ecosystem of when you walk into the space and say, good morning, lights come on, music comes on, right? Shades open really magical when it all can kind of get, come together. Tyson mentioned that um, with different lighting and outdoor solutions, but really the more technology that is in the home, it gets complex, but having a really simple interface like good morning or you know, open the, open the shades makes it really simple to use all that technology that makes the space so great to be. I think Michelle, you touched on the how much time we spend looking for remotes, but at this point in time in the way we are within our houses, how much time do we keep kind of jumping between apps or sorting through apps or trying to remember like which app am I locking my doors with? And that's where this this whole ecosystem comes together into one simple application. When you when you can't find that app, it's just like, oh, please lock the door. The door's locked. Oh, great. Yeah, that's wonderful. So let's talk about uh, on this project, the shades are networked using Zigbee. So tell us about Zigbee. What is it? Why was it chosen to have that communication between the shades and the control system? I'll just add quickly and, and Scotty can, you know, go into why they selected Zigbee. But for, for Zigbee, uh, with Zombi, Zigbee is our bi-directional story using the, the Tahoma interface as the control part of the ecosystem. It's the most reliable and uh, it's the most reliable and preferred protocol in our industry right now. Right now. So, um that's why we use Zigbee. I prefer Zigbee. I think Mary Ellen was hinting at stuff to come, so that's that's interesting. Uh, but <laughs> the big thing with Zigbee, and, and she hit on the reliability, is is um, not to go too nerd on this, but it's uh, it is a mesh network, and so that increases that reliability side of it. And so what we don't want to do is have a situation where somebody does send out a um, a command to do something and, and it doesn't happen. And that's that's the worst thing with putting together this type of system is when when you send out a command, you want to make sure that that command gets to the the devices that it needs to use. And, and so with this Zigbee protocol, it allows us to have what we call a mesh network, which means every device is actually receiving and transmitting at the same time. And it creates this network of making sure that those messages get tr transferred between devices consistently and efficiently. Um, so with that, we've, we've kind of increased what well, we, I should say, Somfy has, has increased that ability for those messages to, to get to devices quickly, get to devices efficiently, and we don't have the drop messages. And I guess the only thing I'll add is Zigbee because it works. Um, so it's awesome to be in this space and see all 30 shades go up together, right? Um, it's very obvious when you're in a home when that is not happening, right? When you have a wall of windows and a nice clean line along the horizon, that's a really well professionally installed project. And um, that's what it's like having the product in the office here. Yeah. And I want to note what Tyson said with noting what Mary Ellen said with that 
kind of pause, I felt like we need the bum, 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 like what's next? So maybe we'll talk about that a little bit later in a few minutes. So let's get a status update first about Zigbee and what everything, what you all explained and everything, how it works and why it was chosen. How are things going right now? How's it working? I'll let Scotty handle that one because he's actually in the space that it's working with. Yeah, I was going to say it's working great. And um, we actually use the Zigbee interface through through um, the Tahoma driver. Um, and so that's a, that's a basically the, the Sonfi product that sits on the network. Um, and that's what Josh talks to directly. So our interface is with Tahoma and our integration is there. And then all the Zigbee and RTS shades, blinds, draper screens, all that sort of stuff. Um, that's how we talked through all that. And it's been great, rock solid. So we're very happy with how it's been deployed there. I'm happy to hear that as well. So let's talk about battery shades. What are some of the advantages of using them and what changes have you seen in battery technology? So as I was saying, with uh, with battery operated shades, um, you have the uh, you have the ability to recharge your batteries. We have rechargeable batteries. We have these little extenders that you can just plug right in there and charge your battery. Um, we also have solar, you know, solar options to you know, charge your battery uh, shades as well. So it's, um, there are a lot of advantages to it, but I'm sure with, with Draper, you can really go into, you know, the differences that, that you guys offer and all the different uh, types. So for us, the big thing with, with the battery shades is that it's offered, it's lower the, the price point to come into to the automation side of shading. So in the past, as Mary Ellen was saying, um, wiring would need to be pulled if, if motorized shades were an option, if it's a retrofit to a house that's already built. Um, it just, it was a massive barrier cost-wise to get around to have to pull electrical wiring to a window. And now we have, with the battery option, it allows us to, to retrofit a home with automated shades or motorized shades that allows them to have automation without having all of the extra costs that goes around with it. So the barrier for somebody to get into uh, a, a, another element of a smart home with motorized shades has really been lowered with the with the battery option. Now, in the past, battery op battery shades have been around for a while. There was always the element of having to add or replace batteries, find a decel battery, load the battery into the into the shades. You had to have them on hand. Now, with the technology and as we're as we're moving forward, we can recharge the batteries. Um, so you don't have to have the batteries on hand. You also get indication because we have this bi-direction, you get indication of when your batteries are actually getting weak. So you can plan for it and say, hey, I, I see this battery level is getting low. I'll plug these in overnight, um, plug it in for six to eight hours overnight, wake up in the morning and you're good to go for another probably 18 months. So that has allowed a lot more of the integration part of motorized shades to become accessible to the residential market, which we didn't really have a way to do in the past. It had to be something that was planned for when you were building a new house. And now we're, we're stepping away from that. It's so exciting. It's very Jetsons-like. I feel like, you know, the, the cartoons really come to life. So let's talk about the future. Mary Ellen, you kind of briefly gave us a hint of, you know, there's always new things kind of on the horizon, but where do you see home design and functionality and that connection going in the future? Yeah, well, having um, having just returned from CES, one of the biggest, largest consumer electronic trade shows uh, in Las Vegas, that kind of kicks off our you know our year. You always see these prototypes, and you know what's new, what's trending, what's coming. So, you know, for me, it was it was very apparent how many uh, smart home devices exist, and how there's this ecosystem that you know allows you to control set scenes and do all these different things with various devices, whether it be a television, whether it be, you know, voice control, whether it be, you know, temperature lighting, et cetera. But um, I think you're going to start to see more um, people want to use, you know, things like their TV, you know, more voice control, um, have a lot more, you know, maybe even kitchen appliances, you know, have the ability to you know, open and close, you know, my shades or create these scenes. So I think they're, we're going to see a, a a demand in, you know, okay, I want almost everything to be able to control everything. It becomes a little more complex and creates a little more friction, but um, definitely this is where I'm, I'm kind of seeing, you know, 
in the future. Control and automation really take play in the future. And just to jump in there, um, yeah, so Mary Ellen, it's always fun to see what comes out at CES, right? It, it kind of goes everything from like crazy toilets to actual things that are functional. Um, but at the end of the day, it's a lot of tech, right? It's a lot more tech that's coming into the home. And one of the things that um, is exciting is how the interfaces and home intelligence is an example of this are sort of making that easier to bring all the tech into the home. So when you walk in your room and you say it's dark in here, well, that might be turn on the lights, but if the lights are on, you might want the shades open. You know, you don't have to say specifically what device in the home you want to interact with. You can be more, I guess, loose with what you want and have the home adapt to what it thinks you need. And I think the more interfaces we have and the more technology that's going to be there, the more the, the home's really going to have to augment that last step and decide what the client wants to make all this technology usable. And um, so things like chat GPT, which is more of a, a voice thing that we've talked a lot about in the industry um, and ways that it's being deployed. Um, all these things are helping us get better understandings, understanding of what a user wants and figuring out fun ways to deploy it. So on the home intelligence side, chat GPT is another fun sort of technology that we're looking closely at and how we can involve that in the experiences that all of our shared clients have. I, th I think what, what everybody has been chasing for a while is, is, um, uh, is that one kind of protocol or, or system that, that kind of takes everything under one, one roof and at it. Not to say that anybody's ahead of anybody else yet, but there seems to be more people moving in the same direction. And so as, as more people move in the same direction, as more, as we define what those protocols are that we're using in our house, I think you're going to see more and more smart devices join our networks or join our houses and then create networks. And then as, as, as maybe it's a bit scary, but also a bit exciting at the same time as, as we see more machine learning, we'll have the ability to, to walk into a room and, and have, uh, just that room of our house understand who is in that space and what they what their preferences are. So, as an example, um, you know, two people living in a house one one may love natural light, the other just wants it dark all the time. So, knowing who's in the room and what they're doing, what they're using that room for, it can adjust sound levels, light levels, shade to let more natural light in, as opposed to the, right now having just you know, us try to set schedules and try to figure out how we're going about this, that, that the home will decide or the home will figure out exactly what we think is best and, and adjust for us. Sounds great. Sounds like you could stop a lot of uh, disagreements with husbands and wives too, if we could get that related to temperature control and you're really going to have a whole We're really in the industry there. of saving marriages is what's going on here. <laughs> Any final thoughts as we're wrapping up here? I think I, what, what I would say is I'm, I'm just excited about um, you know, Draper's Draper's new to this venture in, in in the residential world and really started to make a focus on that. And then having the two partners like Josh AI and Sophie has really pushed us into the market very quickly and allowed us to have more success in the market than than we thought we would have at an early stage. So it's uh, it's been great to work with both these these groups and it's been uh, I think it's been a, a pretty successful partnership to date. Yes, and I'll add um, we we're currently working on a few different projects, um, you know, all together simultaneously, um, you know, with larger residential um, homes, but then also, you know, hospitality, we have a sort of project that we're working on together that that is, that's quite unique. And, you know, as these projects, you know, come to completion and, and we're testing them out and we're demoing them, it'll be, um, it could be like a whole other podcast to talk about, you know, these other, I, these other applications that are happening you know, as a result of Sompi, Josh, and Drinkbird, you know, getting together and, and providing a solution, providing a better experience. Yeah, to piggyback on that, um, just super excited about what our clients are already experiencing. We mentioned earlier what we're talking about is kind of like the Jetson life like experience, but it really is available today, right? Voice commands, AI, ML around this, um, shading solutions throughout the home and outside. Um, and even retrofitting them. So just excited to see more homes, more of our friends, family members being able to live and experience what we do every day. 
Great conversation. I want it all. Sign me up because it all sounds great to me. A wonderful conversation talking about home intelligence and automated shading solutions and so much more. Scotty Allen, Chief Operating Officer, Josh AI, Mary Ellen Oswald, Custom Integration and Partnerships Channel Manager for SOMFI USA, and Tyson McDonald, Director of Business Development for Motorized Solutions for Draper. Thank you so much for being with me today. Really, really enjoyed this conversation, and I know our listeners did as well. Thank you for having me. Thanks. This is fun. I want to thank all of our listeners for tuning in today. Of course, if you'd like more information about what we talked about today, you can go draperathome.com. All of the podcast information and much more because we heard a lot of fun things happening and exciting things coming in the future. Thanks again for joining us. I'm your host, Michelle Dawn Mooney. We hope to see you soon. (laughs) 